With 80 different weather stations spread across the state, the Georgia Automated Environmental Monitor Network provides farmers some of the most accurate and up-to-date weather information on a daily basis. That's why keeping it operational and up-to-date is so important. Damon Jones has that story. Getting the most accurate and up-to-date weather information is vital for producers as they make critical decisions throughout the growing season. And that's exactly what the Georgia Automated Environmental Monitor Network provides as their 80 different stations give a broader look at weather conditions throughout the state. If you go to the National Weather Service, you'll find there's maybe a dozen or so uh, weather stations around the state. We have 80 weather stations, so we just have more local information. Weather obviously varies where you, depending on where you are. So the closer the weather station is to where you are, the more relevant that information is. And it's not just the number of stations that make this network unique, but also the one-of-a-kind information that other resources don't provide. We also have solar radiation, for example. We have um, some soil moisture and soil temperature measurements, which is very useful for people who are in the agricultural uh, community. And we have other sensors as well. And we can actually do some extra calculations, uh, create some information that you can't find by going to a uh, National Weather Service or a weather bug um, weather station. To access the information, simply go to weather.uga.edu and click on the weather station that's nearest your location. From there, you can get all kinds of important statistics, many of which are geared specifically towards the agricultural industry. A lot of calculators, uh, which are quite simple, some of them, some of them are quite complicated, that allow us to provide farmers with information about uh, what might be going on in terms of pests and diseases, um, things that farmers like to know, like chilling hours, heating degree days. These are calculations that are done for them, and they can look those up on the website. We have um, anywhere from 300,000 to 500,000 hits on our weather station every month, and uh, we find that uh, a great many of those are people in the agricultural industry, so um, really farmers do uh, place an emphasis on being able to find this information. It's, we kind of tailor the, the way that we present the information so that it's uh, useful for farmers in particular. While farmers do benefit greatly from this information, they are far from the only sector that considers this data important to their business. Uh, and I think farmers really do want to have this information. Um, not just farmers, we, know how we have researchers as well at universities, uh, state and local governments, the uh, EP, Georgia EPD uses our data, power companies use our data, uh, all the way through K-12 education. So there's a great m many people who are using this information. Despite its usefulness, the Georgia Weather Network has seen funding cuts and some stations almost shut down over the past few years. It's a proposition that would not only affect farmers and their bottom line, but also important research as well. And apart from everything else, for the research aspect, researchers would like to have a continuous record of, of data dating back as far as possible. So it's important that we keep this continuity, we don't lose any, any weather stations, and we don't lose any continuity in service. Reporting from Byron, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.